save this file and let's hit run no freaking way i just created a snakes and ladder game using ancient gpt this is insane Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing Asian GPT in which it actually helped me in creating my own snakes and ladder game. And that is by just giving it a small prompt like this and using the actual agent a GPT AI system to actually help me accomplish this goal. Now, for the people who do not know what Asian GPT is, it's basically a platform that enables you to create, set up, and deploy independent artificial intelligent agents. Now, you can name your own agent. In this case, I named it Game GPT, and it provides you with a specific goal that you want to pursue. And in this goal, I basically told it, create me a small snakes and ladder game built off Python. Make sure that the entire game with it is with a detailed explanation so that I can copy and paste the codes into Python to run it. And basically, I just gave it this little goal and objective so that the actual system can deploy its agents and start beginning to think of tasks that will basically help it achieve this goal. Now, for the people who do not know, let me just give a little breakdown before I get into the actual video. Now, the process that has made this whole application possible is by the advanced capabilities of gpt 3.5 not even gpt4 architecture and this basically underpins agent gpt now with this application you're able to configure your own ai agents to focus on a wide variety of objectives for example you can instruct your agent to create a game like this or you can even do something such as have it create website performance automate a specific task business processes or even help you creating your own new language now this is something that i covered in my previous video and i believe a long time ago and i think it's a hey, more detailed up, Welcome. like explanation as to what you can do so definitely check this video out and you'll get a better understanding of the analysis but in today's video i'm just going to be focusing on the aspect of creating something cool like a game now another cool thing that i wanted to know is that they're releasing their beta 2.0 very soon and in this case they've gotten so many people using it so that they're trying to innovate it and highlighting new things that they can do to improve this actual application one thing I really wanted to note is that you're going to need an API key. And this is something that you can access off of the OpenAI API key section on their website. And what you'll need to do is have make that you got to make sure that you have enough like storage or as in like a billing to actually use the API key because you need to have your credit card linked up to the account so that you can start generating different uses with the tokens that you bought and what i basically did is i imported my api key in the settings and once you're able to do that you can start using the application so in this case i just told it create me a snakes and ladder game that could be coded into python and i told it just give me a code in which i can just copy and paste it into python and this is something that i i told the code to do and we can see that it starts off with the initial goal and it has different tasks that it gives you in which you can actually get the objective achieved so what it started off with is it added different tasks that will be required to actually complete your initial objective so the first task that it basically had was generate a snakes and ladder board using python code with a 10 i cannot see because of the stupid thing but 100 scores second thing it said that task two is implement python code for the game mechanics such as a rolling dice moving the players and checking the snakes and ladders and now if you can see there's different tasks that it gives you and one cool thing that i wanted to know is that if there's a different thing that the actual agent wants to do it will then deploy another task like in this case, it deploys multiple different tasks that will definitely benefit the actual application to basically reach a, the actual goal, as well as give you different types of objectives to enhance the over initial objective. Now, what I did is I basically copied and imported the Pi game or the actual codes. And then it also told me for the GUI, which is like the interface, it told me that you will need certain things to import that. So it told me to do certain things and i'll basically demonstrate that later on so first thing to actually run any sort of game you're gonna have to have pip install pygame this is a basic library that helps you run like third-party different applications for this game and 
what it actually did is it created the function of the game which we can see over here and it defines like the whole parameters as well as the configuration of how the game operates so guys you might be asking how did i actually create this game of a snakes and ladder that i showed in the introduction well basically it gives you a step-by-step -step answer with the agent and from this autonomous agent it gives you a detailed response from the prompt that i gave it initially and it tells me what it told me what to do like step by step in actually installing this game it told me in terms of installing the actual code in terms of pasting in the right areas it also showed me to get the right like different dimensions for the actual application it gave me the images that are required to actually have this function for the game and these are some of the things that you can do i even told it like you can even ask it to actually add voice but i told it not to do so because it is going to be a lot of work to actually install those libraries and to be honest i don't have like the time to do that at the moment so i just gave you a basic demonstration of how it was actually able to do so but in this case i copied all the codes i made sure i pasted it into the right areas and i followed all the instructions that were given to me and once i was able to do that i was basically able to run this game by clicking pay play on my actual visual studio code which is my code editor so you obviously need your own code editor to actually edit and play along with this actual like instruction with python so in this case it was actually able to create this beautiful game and what you can do is up to ha have up to like six players you can obviously play with two or six and in this case i'm just going to show you a little rough demonstration of how it works so in this case i put two i start it and you can see there's two players that are put and you can roll the dice for the players to go in this case it's one now you can have the other player go next and he ran up to six and you can see that it's functioning and the ladders even work and everything so it's just quite amazing to see that such an agent is actually able to replicate such an amazing thing like this and this is something that is quite useful and something that could be very beneficial in the future guys i know there was a lot of issues and comments on my last post about the privacy issues of putting your api key on such an application but in my case whenever i use this actual application i didn't have any sort of problem or any sort of privacy issues that are leaked to this actual application as well as the contributors of it so this is something that is actually in beta only so there's going to be so much room for improvement and overall i believe that agent gpt is a powerful tool that will make it easy to create and deploy customized ai agents for various different tasks in the world so i hope you like this video guys on how i sh i basically told an ai autonomous agent to create a snakes and ladder games now i want to see what you guys can create so if you guys do utilize this it's fairly cheap guys because i only spent like nine cents today on this actual game so imagine what you can do if you were to spend and take a little bit more time and actually creating different things so i highly recommend that you check this out if you guys aren't subscribed please do so comment anything that you want to see in the future and like this video guys as it'll definitely help the algorithm out and with that case guys thank you so much for watching i hope you have an amazing day have a beautiful smile and spread positivity and with that thought i'll see you guys next time guys peace out fellas